Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 124. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Uh, this tutorial we're going to start working on our inventory system and I've already got a little prototype up and running. So basically I want to have this little inventory window that opens up. Obviously you're going to use a GUI style or you know, GUI skins to you know make it look pretty and get it all set up the way you want but the basic functionality will be the same. So basically we're just going to click the chest, we're going to get some items, as you click the items, have them removed from the chest, and also add them actually to your inventory. So let's start off by actually building this little GUI part. So I'll disable it over here, and I'm going to open up my GUI. Now constructing our inventory uh, window is pretty much exact same as constructing our loot window. So for that I'm just actually going to copy the loot window in our on GUI and I'll just paste it in but I'm going to have to change a few of these variables. So instead of saying display loot window I'm going to want to put to uh, display inventory. So I'm just going to add a bit of a comment line up here so I know that all the variables after here are for my inventory and I'll just come in and say inventory window variables and I'll line that up later and I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to paste it up here so I know that these are for the loot window. Alright, so the offset, I'm going to move out of there because that's for all windows. And quickly looking through, this one here is also, well, no, the chest is actually used specifically for the loot. So that pretty much means we have to cut and paste all of this here and rename it to our inventory. So instead of display loot window, I'm just going to say display inventory. And to start off with, I'm going to have it be true, just so I can see it on the screen. And then we'll want a constant int, but instead of being the loot window ID, I'm going to be the inventory. It's a constant, so I like to have all capitals. And it has to be different than the loot window, so I'm just going to call it 1. Now we'll have to define a rec, and I don't want to use the loot window rec, so I'll just do inventory window rec. And to be honest, to keep the same naming conventions, I'm going to switch this to display window inventory window. And I'm not going to actually have it be 000 because I, I want this window to be draggable. And this is really just going to be the starting point for that window. So I'm just going to say 10, 10, which is actually the offset. If you don't want to set it here, you could put it in the, the start method. But for now, I'm going to put it here because I've already gone ahead and played around with it a bit and found the, the exact dimensions that I wanted. So 265 is the width that I want. Now it's going to be different for you depending on the graphics you use and then I may go ahead and come through here later and change the dimensions according to the new set of graphics that I'm using. But the height was actually 265 that I liked and the width was 170. And I'm not actually going to have a slider in my loot window. I want all my inventory displayed at the same time. Now maybe in a later update I'll be adding more uh, inventory slots and it will come down to the point of actually needing to have a slider in which case I'll, I'll add it then but for now I don't need it but we have the basic setup so I'm gonna go down to on GUI again and I'm just gonna change it to the values that I need inventory window and instead of being loot window rack it was inventory rack 
And instead of passing the loot window ID, we're going to be using the inventory window ID. Uh, so instead of passing in a new rack, we can just come in and cut this whole thing out. What we're actually going to pass in is the rack that we've already created up top, which is our inventory rack. And you'll notice it's the exact same variable over here. And I didn't quite cut enough of it out. There we go. That's the rest of the old rack. Now we're not going to call the function loot window. What we're actually going to call is a new function called inventory window. So I'm going to create that now. It does not return anything. But it does have to take one parameter. And that's the ID of the window. Even though we're not actually using the ID in the code, it's still it's still required. So this is now my new function that I'll be calling up here. So I'll come back up, put that in. And instead of being loot window as the title, I'm just going to call it inventory. And for a GUI style, I'm not going to have one for default. And I'm just going to take a quick look here. It looks like everything should be okay. Uh, let's go test it out in Unity. We got no errors. So I'll start it up. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to make it draggable right off the bat. So I'll go back into Mono Develop. And I'm going to go down to the function that we made for that window. And you can make the window draggable simply by going GUI dot drag window. And then you can actually enter parameters on what section of the screen you can grab to, or that window you can grab to drag. I want the whole thing to be draggable regardless of whether where they're clicking in the window right now. So I'm going to leave it empty. But if you want to actually define a certain part of your window to be the, the, the draggable part, uh, you can enter in a rect here. Uh, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, just looking up, just look it up in the Unity documentation. So let's go back into Unitron, or not Unitron, into Unity, and I'll just start it up. And we can now drag it around. Now I have no bounds checking to make sure that you know you don't drag it off screen. Uh, I may add that a little bit later on. But we have the basis for our, our loot window right now. Now since we have uh, the ability to toggle the window on and off, uh, we should go back into Unity and create a function for that as well to be able to uh, call this function to have the window toggle. So for now I'm going to make a public void because it doesn't return anything. I'm just going to call it toggle inventory window. And it's not going to accept any parameters. All it's going to do is take our display inventory window and assign it the opposite value. So if you're displaying the inventory window, uh, when it, this function is called, it'll tell it to not display the window. Uh, we've covered this, covered this uh, syntax in an earlier tutorial. Now, I want a place to actually store uh, our player's inventory, and I don't want to store it in uh, my GUI because right here only thing I want is the actual displaying of things so I'm gonna actually save the GUI to our player character so I'll select the player open up the player character script and I'm just gonna add it here so since this is gonna be of type list and generic type item uh, make sure you have your using system collections generics if not just add it but I'm gonna make it private and we'll make it a static and it's of type list and it'll be item and I'm just going to call this underscore inventory and I'll assign it the new value of list item my parentheses and then right under that I'm going to create a public static and I'm going to call this just inventory with a capital T. And all I'm going to do here is set up uh, its getter accessor. 
This way here we can just call, oops, sorry, I forgot the return type. We can just call this one public method to get access to our inventory and still actually keep our inventory uh, private. So this is going to return a list and it's going to return a list of type item. So in here we'll just return inventory. So I'll save that off. I'll head over to my GUI and it looks like we just passed the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and save this off and we'll continue on to the next one. I'll see you then. Bye bye.